think Jesus they was I call it then I my nigga. Um what we do, my nigga? I bet you that a lot of your friends actually say my nigga quite a bit or or white boys or the Mormons if you know I don't know. Um and then brothers come around and they don't say shit. Yeah. Um a lot of things on me. I bet that you wouldn't face me life or death, uh on whether or not you shook my hand and said, yeah, you know what, I could turn into a $100 million guy, I'll cut you five mil. Why not? Okay? I mean, back then, why not? We're friends, aren't we? Um, and I told you some deep-seated fucking secret squirrel shit by spirit. Um, and it's like this. Great choices. Are you a man of your word? If you are, what you will do, you will pay forward, okay? Uh, not five million to me, like you said, 1985 football field, okay? I'm the shit, all right? Um, and, and, and you bring it, man. Uh, you're a fucking savage, strong safety that lays wood, my nigga. Um, oh, yeah, you lay wood. And then you went to uh, Princeton, perfect SAT to pay for it. Um, what else they pay for, Craig? You told all your friends about me? I know you did. You told me. You bragged. Um, that's one of the reasons that's who you were born, nigga, because they knew you knew me, okay? How do we control this fucking freak of nature? You know what we do? We set them up with simple shit that will make the people that told the lies look so heinous. They will flee for their lives if I don't put a stop to it in the future. Straight out, and I won't even be there, okay? Um, yeah. It's like this. My nigga talking shit. Dan Quinn, do you think you really know? Um, do Dan Quinn? Tell you what, Dan Quinn is brilliant. Dan Quinn had a psychotic serial killer upbringing, but he was nice. Animals loved him, and uh, bad boys, you know what? They became him when I knocked out five motherfuckers. So imagine me in the NFL, and I'm basically doing any fucking thing that I want to, because what, I can catch Tim Brown from behind, probably cut that nigga, nigga that man from that, who, who knows, that nigga gave, gave me a chance, you know, he ran away from me, <laughs> I chased him down, oh yeah, uh, it's like this, I've been undercover my entire life, to all the brothers out there, uh, among white boys, and those are a few that are cool, uh, even the ones that I was with locked up that are basically, you know what, white supremacists, um, <laughs> I'm basically albino, I'm gonna get albino to the bone, I am blacker than 99.9% of the brothers in the NFL past, present, future, all right, than they could even dream of athletically, all right. I <laughs> have a lot of fast twitch muscle fibers in all of my body, like my body. Um, you know what? Uh, he was fast as fuck. He was the shit. He was the best. He gave up four of his best years for a cause. And they fucking got him for it. You know what? They poisoned him. They tried to do their best so his message didn't get out. And it goes like this. Dan Quinn, I would have been Dick Bucket. He would bow down to me, homie. Bow down straight up in conflict. This? And I say so. Your best against my best? I say I fuck you up. Say, I like you. We don't do that. We actually make money. I'm saying that. The fact that I was top in Olympic spring speed, the fact that, 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 you know what, did you know me as a superstar when you met me up here in Northern California? It's like this, Joan Quinn, the last 30 years, I've developed quite a reputation among everybody who is somebody, okay, on the other side of the law, where people, they don't go to court, okay, but as much as they should, they don't use 911 at all, they don't, they don't you fucking use 911 to protect yourself, straight up, don't get somebody in trouble, but if someone's come over with a pistola or something like that, what are you going to do, man? Not be a cowboy, fool, um, or know some people that are strapped and they live real fucking close, and if anything happens, they're going to be there, and they won't hear the thing, man. I think they might be found, I don't know, um, <laughs> it is what it is, it's like this, I set a trap, I didn't fight once, not once, professionally, mad, alright, and some of these guys out there have talked a whole lot of shit that were fighting to his death. I say, 
you know what, Bobby? I'm going to talk to you. Uh, let's figure this out, homie. I, I, I know that your hand, you can't take me down. You can't touch me. You can't fucking, you know, secretly get a wreck, nigga, because you gay, okay? And you can't leave me alone. But I bet you there's a good chance that I fuck you up, son, uh, when, when uh, <laughs> uh, I'm throwing punches at him because I'm going to be mad, homie. You fucking threaten me, threaten my kid. Tell you what, punk. You actually run him overboard. I'm going to fucking tap into some of my friends. Tell you what, this is to my niggas, okay, uh, on 8 West 200 Park, right? Um, I don't think there was any white boys that I considered, and, and, and that's what's so like my fucking group. I mean, here's the joke. Everybody around America is saying, what up, my nigga, until a black gentleman comes around and says, like, hey, look, you, whatever, uh, well, what is it? Hey, tell me. Um, Dan Quinn's been undercover. I'm an albino, all right, straight through and through, and... I get along better with people that are real than who aren't. I respect to uh, Charlie Boots, a.k.a. Charlie De Demo. I mean, Charles Demo. Charlie, I mean, famous, I guess, right? White supremacist. A good guy, a genius. Artistically, you still owe me that picture of my son. I bet you they have intended to give it to me. I bet you they have fucked with you, all right? That's what they do. They get away with it. And guess what, homie? I'm going to be rich, straight up. So if Craig Tucer keeps his word, I will not use my mind to humiliate, okay, and and, and, and use as a negative in any way against you, okay, my humor, okay, and all you gotta do is keep your word 10%, you said $5 million, my nigga, did I get to that, $5 million is your damn Craig, uh, if you were a $100 million guy, you did use some of my ideas, okay, the mice exploding in population, it was space. If there wasn't enough space, it didn't matter how much food, water, you know what, they went crazy. They turned human. They fucking bizarre. The women defended against the men who went gay and they ate babies and it was carnage. And you know what? It's like this. My son, Ryan, Bam Bam Quinn, he's been validated, Bam Bam, by one member of the Northern Structure. Uh, <laughs> I shed tears when I heard that Richard Bam Bam Duran had actually passed away, it was a fucking tragedy, I mean, he was, he was, I liked him a lot, and I guess he liked me too, because when I was at the branch, I had Grumpy come up and say, hey Holmes, you know what, Richard Grant says you're hella cool, so if anything goes down with the N-I-G-G-E-R-S, yeah, um, no, the Nortenio's got your back, okay, uh, yeah, um, I've always had respect for People who did what the fuck they said, got it done, didn't fucking, you know, attitude that <laughs> I'm such a nice guy, I let it be a fucking weapon, okay, against people who steal against nice people, and guess what, I landed a white whale, and if I told her the truth, I bet you she wouldn't be able to show her fucking face on the street ever again, straight up, uh, luring black men and getting a scorn and then fucking getting a man and sitting around and possibly doing that on purpose to get him arrested. Oh yeah, um, just like this. This is, I'm back. Dan Quinn, pay attention, all right? Um, if you talk shit, you're going to feel <laughs> my wrath. After Holter's house, June 23rd, it's a fucking wrap. And they've